Now to our series, Flipping the Script, featuring people on screen, on stage, and behind the scenes, shining a spotlight on diversity. And this is a good one. Enter Sarah Cooper. You may recognize the actor, writer, and comedian for her viral videos lip-syncing some of former President Donald Trump's more off-the-cuff moments. Since then, she starred in her own Netflix special called Everything's Fine. She shot a movie with Jerry Seinfeld, even made her professional stage debut in the off-Broadway drama the Wanderers. Now, she has a new book out today, her debut memoir called Foolish Tales of Assimilation, Determination, and Humiliation. We are lucky to have Sarah Cooper with us here this morning. Good to see you. It's good How to see you. How does it feel to say you have a book out? Um, it feels uh, great, actually. It feels, it, I've been working on it for so long, it's nice that it's finally out. Yeah. yeah, so let's let's go back to 2020. Okay, we're in the pandemic. All yeah, we had was where everybody wants to go. Back it, right, to 2020. that's where you yeah. want to talk about. All we had was Tiger King and you. Yeah, and, Tiger and he King. Was, I and forgot he... about Tiger King, and now you've reminded me. I got to go watch that again. And he's in jail, so we had you basically. Okay, and now and, I'm gonna head to jail. And your videos just hit so big yeah. so quickly. Everyone's retweeting you. Everyone's take us back today. How do you reflect on that moment and that time? Um, I was just kind of going through the motions of, oh my gosh, so many things are happening that I've wanted to happen for a decade, and now they're all happening within a month. Um, so it was, it was overwhelming. It was overwhelming. And I what did say. that mean for you that it was overwhelming? Um, I just, I, I met with, you know, some of my biggest heroes. I remember um, meeting with Ben Stiller and um, being like, hey, Ben, do you want to be in my special? And, you know, him going... Sure. And, you know, these things were just happening and I couldn't even explain it, but I also didn't have time to process it because it was happening so quickly. And I just said yes to everything. I uh, wrote two books that got turned into pilots. I got the Netflix special. I just everything just happened so fast. It, it was just, it was a surreal almost. I mean, just that every That's such a good word. Yeah. Surreal. I would say surreal, but it was also real. Yeah, it was real. And it was sir. <laughs> And it was surreal. And yeah, it was for sur sure. And real. It was all of the things, you know. What? How do you sum up your life since then? Um, exhilarating, fascinating, percolating, <laughs> irrigated. Yeah, I would say irrigating is irrigating. the biggest. Irrigating. irrigating. You know, like, like water. A sprinkler. Just sprinkler. Just, sprinkler just all everywhere, over. all over. You know, <laughs> isn't that fun? Slip and slide. You know. You were right before this moment. I mean, you you had worked for Yahoo and Google. You've done I? things oh, very wow. different from comedy. Yeah, yeah. And this, did you think this was never going to happen? Like, I'm just going to have to, like, stay <laughs> in this Sound like my dad. Or, it's right. never going to happen. <laughs> no, I'm asking. Yeah, I'm I know. Saying. I know. <laughs> um, I, you know, I, I actually didn't. I actually, in 2019, I was thinking about going back to Google because I was like, you know, the, the straight white dudes I'm meeting in stand-up comedy um, aren't doing it for me. So I need to go back to the straight white dudes in tech and um, married a straight white dude. I love straight white dudes. <laughs> um, I just am surrounded by them. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, this was, it. you would never think that Donald Trump being elected and then TikTok and then lip sync. I started lip syncing in church. I was in church, I was yeah. a little girl, and I was singing, I was belting out this hymn, and I thought I sounded so good, and then my mom turned to me and she said, just mouth the words, just mouth them, <laughs> don't actually sing. And that's when I started lip syncing, so I went from God to Trump, I'm uh, sorry, God to Trump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the book, all yeah. right? It's out today, it's called Foolish. I love on the cover, there's a quote from Jerry Seinfeld that mm -hmm. simply says, delightful, Complicated. complicated, which sounds it, like a rough quote, but it's from Seinfeld, so it's a He's your hero, good, right? He's my hero, yes, what, yes. Why did you want to write this memoir? You've written books before, but why yeah. tell your story, especially um, in the wake of 2020? Money, money was a big <laughs> one. Um, I want to meet men um, is another one. Um, neither of those things have happened yet, but I'm still holding out for them. Um, you, you, yeah. say, you say in the book that at that moment when everything happened, you weren't really re ready for it mm -hmm. at the time. What are the things that you hope people can take away from, from reading your story and hearing about it? Because you write a book, you hope people learn something yeah. from that lesson, right? Well, I have to say the biggest thing is to laugh. And I just want people to laugh. And I know you've read it. And you do. And I've laughed. Cover it's to hilarious. cover. You've read the whole thing, right? <laughs> read, to on be page, fair, I've read parts of it. On I've page 86, what did I say? What did I say? Um, yeah, I want people to laugh it is mainly. Funny. Thank it you. Is. Thank you. It's your humor. You look so scared. Through. You're like, it's funny. I no, swear to God. It is, yeah. Um, yeah. I, the other thing is basically like, um, 
I talk about my daddy issues, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of that has to do with, you know, coming to this country, wanting to be as perfect as possible, and wanting to fit in, and working in tech, and um, and then humiliation is all about realizing that I am my own daddy. Okay, and is that okay? <laughs> It's going well. It's, it's going, going well. It's going well. <laughs> it's like, like I said, it's um, a lot of times you kind of are looking to an ex external power to mm. give yourself power. And this is about finding the power in the power that is you, which is the power of you, which is powerful, right? Is, <laughs> did like, I say powerful enough? I think I you think said I the word did. power. I think I did. We've got like 20 seconds here. You're, you're never going to do Trump again, right? Never. Even though we have a year where he could be running I can lip sync anyone, again. actually. They can put the camera on me and I could lip sync you right now. What, what is your top goal? What, what's next? I want to lip sync you. <laughs> here we go. That's me. All right. Well, we have a, a prompter here, so maybe you can help with that. So I'm going to say, Sarah Cooper, thanks so much. The book is called Foolish and is out today. And that is going to do it for this hour <laughs> of Morning News Now. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.